morning. It is not windy at all here today. So it's Thursday and we were expecting to have heavy rain and winds, but Etta decided to go visit the Gators, uh, UF. It's actually currently in Gainesville right now, <laughs> which is like a good two and a half hours drive northwest of where I'm at. So I'm not surprised at all that there is no wind at all. I don't know. You guys can see it through my windows. No wind. None. We were getting some squalls yesterday right before I went to bed. Um, like 20, 30 miles an hour, which are like nothing because our afternoon storms in the summer are way worse. Like way worse. So yeah, today is just going to be a little rainy until the storm completely passes and then it's going to be super dry and beautiful for the next few days because the storm's going to suck up all the moisture and leave us dry. So actually worked out for us a little bit. Like it's nice, especially since I have a giant branch hanging over my roof and I was supposed to have someone come by today and evaluate how much it would cost to get it removed since hanging over a power line. Can't do it myself. But anyways, that's besides the point. It is November 12th, which means it is happy hour day, guys. So happy hour, according to what was it, Alan Jackson, uh -oh, the country singer, um, it's five o'clock. So five o'clock somewhere, five o'clock is when you get out of work and you go into happy hour. Um, but um, it's not always five o'clock. Sometimes it's just whenever you have the ability to Put your guard down like for parents it's when you don't have your kids around and you can actually drink and not have any responsibilities or when you're at war or you're like a soldier and you don't have people who are trying to kill you <laughs> and you're not on duty to like watch for it so you can put your guard down and that can happen at any time so happy hour is just when you have that relief of responsibility and you can drink and relax and not have to be responsible for a few hours that's what I think of happy hour what do you guys think of happy hour and what it actually entails so I was actually even trying to look up the history of the phrase happy hour and it I think they were saying that one of the first mentions of it was in the Shakespearean novel um, Henry V I think it was Henry V but way back then they were caught using the term happy hour and they don't really know exactly where it originated from but that's just from the couple of sources that I looked up this morning so if you guys have any idea where that term came from of course it's a very simple term which is very obvious but most terms are but they usually have some kind of really cool story to back it up I was unable to actually find the really cool story so if you guys find the really cool story I would love to hear it and for you to comment down below and let me know where you think it came from or where it spawned from but um, today is the perfect day for you to go out and do this happy hour in in um, lieu of the day I'm not gonna be able to because I <laughs> have too many responsibilities after work I go get my kids and then I'm responsible for my kids but for me do it and then tomorrow I'll be able to do my happy hour and I'll say it's for today there you go that's how I'm gonna do it it's also fancy rat and mouse day so this one's a little peculiar everybody's different to each their own but <clears throat> it's actually to kind of highlight that rats and mice can be household pets and that they are actually affectionate and intelligent creatures. So, I mean, to each their own. I mean, I'm good. We had hamsters growing up and I wasn't impressed. Um, but I've also known people who had ferrets and not, not that it's my thing, but you know, they can be really affectionate creatures. So apparently when you stay up really, really late, um, I stay up till 2.30 in the morning with my lab, you wake up starving. I normally only have coffee in the morning, but I had to go pick up some McDonald's. 
So since I'm eating McDonald's, I have to treat my entire group, my entire work, because it would be very rude of me to show up at coffee break with breakfast for just myself. Just saying. It would be. So rats and mice in the home. Awkward. And but it's for each of own. I know people with a ferret. And they're really cute together. Even though I wouldn't want my, I wouldn't want one myself. But um, you can tell that the person actually bonds with the animal. So, um, two them. And there's a super cute cartoon Ratatouille, right? That's really cute, and it shows how like rats can be really intelligent. I know it's fiction, it's cartoon, but yeah. Stretch with me, come on, stretch with me. So that's all about today is like being aware of that being a thing. So it is. So it is also pizza with the works except anchovies, which sounds really weird. But the reason for this special occurrence is to enlighten people that when you do order the works, it means everything everything that they have um, for pizza. And some people get anchovies. So when you order the works, you're going to get anchovies. And you have to specifically say no anchovies. And I guess this is a big deal that people get it and then they complain. And so a lot of times the people who work at pizza places will um, respond to someone saying the works, well, do you want anchovies? Are you sure you want anchovies? But try to remember that if you just say the works, it's not just all of the good ingredients. It also is the unique ingredients. So um, I found that interesting because I wouldn't mind having anchovies, but I also wouldn't mind having, you know, like pineapple. And some people think that's like ridiculous. But I like the pineapple and the ham and mushrooms and like, I'm weird though. I could just have it all. It wouldn't bother me none. <laughs> so it is almost there, guys. We are on Thursday, and tomorrow is the last day of the week. And then we are looking to have some amazing weather this weekend. So I am super excited. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Be safe. Drive carefully. I don't know where you are, but especially if you're in the path of the hurricane, be careful. Um, also, being south of the hurricane is not always the best for um, sporadic weather like tornadoes so please be safe um, and you guys have a wonderful day bye guys